balanced chemical equations law of conservation of mass mass can neither be created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction that is the total mass of the elements present in the products of a chemical reaction has to be equal to the total mass of the elements present in the reactants the number of atoms of each element remains the same before and after a chemical reaction hence we need to balance a skeletal chemical equation zinc plus sulfuric acid gives zinc sulfate plus hydrogen the above word equation may be represented by the following chemical equation zn plus h2so4 gives zn so4 plus h2 let us examine the number of atoms of different elements on both sides of the arrow element zn number of atoms in reactants equals to 1 number of atoms in products equals to 1 element h number of atoms in reactants equals to 2 number of atoms in products equals to 2 element s number of atoms in reactants equals to 1 number of atoms in products equals to 1 element o number of atoms in reactants equals to 4 number of atoms in products equals to 4 as the number of atoms of each element is the same on both sides of the arrow equation is a balanced chemical equation let us try to balance the following chemical equation Fe plus H2O gives Fe3O4 plus H2. Step one: To balance a chemical equation, first draw boxes around each formula. Fe plus H2O gives Fe3O4 plus H2. Step two: List the number of atoms of different elements present in the unbalanced equation. Element Fe, number of atoms in reactants equals to one. Number of atoms in products equals to three. Element H, number of atoms in reactants equals to two. Number of atoms in products equals to two. Element O, number of atoms in reactants equals to one. Number of atoms in products equals to four. step 3 it is often convenient to start balancing with the compound that contains the maximum number of atoms it may be a reactant or a product in that compound select the element which has the maximum number of atoms using these criteria we select fe3o4 and the element oxygen in it There are four oxygen atoms on the right hand side and only one on the left hand side. To balance the oxygen atoms, oxygen atom is initially one in reactants and four in products. So four atom of oxygen have to be added in reactants to balance. To equalize the number of atoms, we cannot alter the formula of the compounds or elements involved in the reactions. For example, to balance oxygen atoms, we can put coefficient 4 as 4 H2O and not H2O4 or H2O4. Now the partly balanced equation becomes Fe plus 4 H2O gives Fe3O4 plus H2. Step 4. Fe and H atoms are still not balanced. Pick any of these elements to proceed further. Let us balance hydrogen atoms in the partly balanced equation. Hydrogen atom is initially 8 in reactants and 2 in products. So 4 atom of hydrogen have to be added in products to balance. The equation would be Fe plus 4H2O gives Fe3O4 plus 4H2. Step 5. Examine the above equation and pick up the third element which is not balanced. You find that only one element is left to be balanced that is iron. Iron atom is initially one in reactants and three in products. 
so three atom of iron have to be added in reactants to balance 3Fe plus 4H2O gives Fe3O4 plus 4H2. Step 6. Finally, to check the correctness of the balanced equation, we count atoms of each element on both sides of the equation. 3Fe plus 4H2O gives Fe3O4 plus 4H2. The numbers of atoms of elements on both sides of equation are equal. This equation is now balanced. This method of balancing chemical equations is called hit and trial method as we make many trials to balance the equation by using the smallest whole number coefficient. Step 7. Writing symbols of physical states. To make a chemical equation more informative, the physical states of the reactants and products are mentioned along with their chemical formula. The gaseous, liquid, aqueous and solid states of reactants and products are represented by the notations G, L, AQ and S respectively. The word aqueous is written if the reactant or product is present as a solution in water. The balanced equation becomes 3FeS plus 4H2OG gives Fe3O4S plus 4H2G. Note that the symbol G is used with H2O to indicate that in this reaction, water is used in the form of steam. Usually physical states are not included in a chemical equation unless it is necessary to specify them. Sometimes the reaction conditions such as temperature, pressure, catalyst, etc. for the reaction are indicated above and or below the arrow in the equation. For example, COG plus 2H2G at 340 atmospheric pressure gives CH3OHL 6CO2AQ plus 6H2OL in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll gives C6H12O6AQ, glucose plus 6O2AQ 